If I stood up here and said you were all stupid, <laughs> you wouldn't bother telling me. You wouldn't bother emailing Father Boland. You'd probably write to the cardinal or even the papacy. How dare he tell us that? But you know, in today's reading from Paul to the Galatians, Paul is absolutely frustrated. He has spent all that time teaching the people about the risen Lord and opening the gospel message to them. And what do they do? A whole group of them goes off and starts teaching false gospels. They've made it up. They have no idea what they're talking about. And he is totally, totally frustrated because not only are they preaching heresy, but they're not even listening to the truth. And it can be very, very frustrating when that happens. I think many of us, when we hear so much untruth, that we get frustrated and said, how stupid can that person be? Which is not a nice thing to do. No, we should never call a person stupid. Maybe misinformed or, or some other nicety, but never call a person stupid. But when we do see or hear somebody spreading rumors and lies and things like that, we are called up and we're called to stand up and say, that's not right. I know that in, in, in life there are many different opinions on things, but I had one person who was a scripture scholar who was hearing all kinds of crazy things about the Bible interpretation. And finally he said, you know what? You're entitled to your opinion, but you're not entitled to the facts. So let's remember to filter out truth and lie, truth and, or filter truth and lies. Stick to the truth and maybe admonish the, the ones who are spreading false, false ideas or lying and say, that's not the way we are called to act and I'm not going to listen to that. You're entitled to your opinion, but you're not entitled to the facts.